Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. My name is Dr. Pramil Charyat. Uh, I am a practicing physician in the United States, also chief medical officer, associate professor of medicine, one of the large medical schools. We are going to continue our series of presentations about the complications of herbal medications. You know, when we talk about herbal medication, always come to our mind, it's not like no complications, we don't have to worry, but every drug has its own complication. Again, this uh, presentation is not to put down the herbal medication. There, we recognize there's tremendous benefit for uh, a herbal medication, but it's also important for the public and the patients to know what kind of complications uh, it can produce, and you can stop taking the medication if you notice those kind of complications, okay? Uh, so let's start our presentation today. Our presentation is about milk thistle, um, herbal medication, and let's look at like all our complications. We did extensive literature search, and all of our presentations are based on scientific research, okay? So the first study we looked at it, you know, before I go into the first study, let's talk a little bit about milk thistle. It's actually is from Europe or Mediterranean countries, and the colonial is introduced in the United States, okay? And when you talk about milk thistle, when we, I mean, in the first thing comes in everybody's mind, people are taken for like liver disease and gallbladder diseases. It got some antioxidant properties and anti inflammatory properties also present in them, okay? And um, it actually comes from the seed, and the main component we need to know, it is uh, silymorin, it contains like four to six percent. Those are the main uh, main product health play for the helpful effects, okay? When you talk about an extract, a lot of people use the help, the extract from the seed, and it contains like 65 to 80 percent of this uh, component called silymorin, and it, uh, the rest of them is like fatty acid. Okay, and so let's look at our first study it was done Cochrane meta-analysis. When, when, when we talk about uh, um, any type of research, you know, when it comes to Cochrane, that's the last word. And they did some studies and they found out some side effects. So what did they find about the side effects? They found their uh, side effects include impotence, pruritus, headache, gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea and abdominal pain. Okay. Uh, the next uh, study we looked at, JAMA had a publication about the about this drug, uh, Mithosil, and let's see what they find out. They found out there is again gastrointestinal, like abdominal symptoms. You have like musculoskeletal symptoms, dermatological symptoms, and infections, and um, it also found out some physical injury from it. Okay. And uh, we continued our research and we looked at that there was another uh, good article published in the phytotherapy research and they found out these are the complications we're going to list. So again, kind of allergy, kind of headache, flushing, weight loss, irritability, increased glucose, muscle pain, um, you can have like heat sensation, halitosis, pruritus, weakness, and um, a couple of labs I think is kind of important when they looked at it, your creatinine has gone up and calcium also have gone up. So the next study was published in Integrative Cancer Therapy about this drug, and their complications include allergy, headache, dizziness, pruritus, and when they looked at the liver enzymes, it has bilirubin has gone up, ALT enzymes have gone up, and again, of course, it does have like gastrointestinal symptoms also present. And then we, what we did was like after that, we did like an extensive literature search to find out any uh, unusual complications. Most of them usually reported in the a case um, presentation or somebody write a case report. So only case report we found is an allergic reaction. So 29 year old gentleman he was uh, I think inhaling this milk tussle and he had like a wheezing a, um, a runny nose the allergic symptoms so the main thing I mean in this case report they were talking about allergic symptoms you can download from taking the inhaled product of milk tussle um, lastly, in when we look, I mean, there is not uh, enough um, report about how to use in the pregnancy. At this point, it's not a good idea uh, to use it in pregnancy or in lactating um, women, okay? So please do not use in pregnancy or lactating women. Uh, the data is not very clear. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation. Please subscribe to our channel because it takes a lot of effort to make presentations like this. God bless. Thank you.